Hey guys, what's up? It's Shifter here with another video on this one. I'll be playing Energizer. Um, Energizer is pretty tough. I'd recommend playing it in sandbox a few times. Just so you can understand the mechanics. And everything. So I'll like show you. You can't build there. Start with this. So the first thing I did was I converted shields into energy. And one thing that's nice now is it starts with it's, it does like the auto connect circuit, which is really nice now. So all I have to do is auto cast shocker as long as I build it in the correct order. I don't even have to get upgrades because it starts with a base income of or base energy of three per second. If I got ten of these upgrades for corner minerals, that would only increase it by five. So it's like only like slightly better than level. So I'm just going to. I create that. I, I create the generator, then the dispenser, and then I go for the energy distributor right here. So that way I have to build it in that order so that this is find a better, built. more organized place. I could have like queued this all up, I just want it to be more educational. Whoops. And then here, I'll auto cast that. I'm gonna grant all the energy to the generator. So that way I can Not convert that into money. Minerals. And see, like I'm already building now, which is nice. And then I messed this up a little bit. Well, not, not messed it up, but like I could have done this faster by queuing it up and everything. I'm just gonna do that now. So I'm gonna right click everything. This will basically give me perfect upgrades. I'm gonna hit X so I can automatically do auto attacks and stuff. And I hope that was cloaked. That's not. Oh, I can kill with my hero. And there we go. So this is my eco for the rest of the game. And as long as it's not found, I don't really have to do any micro on it, which is pretty nice. Alright. So I'm gonna send these here. I'm gonna hit E so they can do four bound three bounces, I guess. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Maybe the second one there. I don't know, whatever. Maybe I want to do both. I don't know. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay. I need gas because I'm auto chronoing every one minute. There's nothing I can really salvage because I didn't put any money into that generator. And yeah, so I'm basically gonna run away from the hawk. I saw him top left, so I'm going top right, which is also where there's no people. Because you know I'm a learner. There's stuff so in the way of your building. I'm just gonna. There's nothing I can do. Can't Sorry. build there. We don't allow bases and bases. Your warriors have engaged oh my God. The I'm gonna just cancel. Base is under attack. It doesn't even matter who's books me, like I have perfect eco. You maxed your line of mineral credit. We'll have no idea. Maybe I should just be touring them with them. I'm limiting my feed to zero. There's literally nothing else in this quadrant. And the more time he spends here trying to kill me, the better. Now, Energizer is pretty tricky. There's a lot of things you could do, like, you don't have to just build Archon, but you can build this thing. I don't know names or anything. The Academy. And that will get you Dominatrix. No. Grant some energy for some icons. Not enough energy. Okay. Oh my god. Please not be me. Okay. Hopefully it's not me lagging. It's like for this combo, 
What is this? I don't know why. There's so many things, but I can rebuild there. Like with just with his carrier. And I could like build entire bases if I wanted to. And they have decent range too. So as long as I'm auto casting, each place is pretty good. Unit needs a nap because he has no more energy. I guess I can't build generators. It's the only thing I can't build. But like I could just fix things. Also provide vision, which is nice. Okay, the hawk is down there, so I'm just gonna farm this place up. You can't build there. This one will have find a better the same thing, but place for that part of the circuit will have the upgrades on it. So that I can get upgrades like vision and stuff. Nap because he has no more energy. I definitely have a little bit too much there. Okay. I'm gonna hit F2, tab, and then like activate the bounces. Yeah. For all my stuff. I'm gonna get vision upgrade. That will help me get more kills. And lose less stuff. I like I like vision and regeneration the most. Um, one thing I don't really like that much is like weapon upgrades and stuff like that. Because sorry, I'm lagging. Um I guess someone else is lagging. The um these weapon upgrades only increase your damage by like ten percent. Whereas with other classes it can be a lot higher of a percent. So they kind of just start out stronger. You're out of gas. So you have two get in some a shield regeneration, somewhere. which will also mean I should be casting convert shields more often. But on top of it. Not enough energy. Yeah, like, so number one question you might be asking is like, when do you get these upgrade regenerations? Like when you have a ton of money. Like honestly, like right now I could probably do it. Cause I have a ton of money. So, I just got a ton of those, pretty cheap. Um, the Hawker is going up here, so I'm going bot right. And I also like supply upgrade once I'm getting near that. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay as far away as I can. Let's get another vision upgrade when I can. Um, he's in top left, so I need to be careful about salvaging the time too. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Did I autocast? I did. Okay. There's stuff in the way of your building. And yeah, I'm just like trying to be as cancerous as possible. You're out of gas. I really is. I just don't have a lot of money right now. Let's see. Okay, he went bot left again. Research complete. I'll just stay in bot right. I'll get a shield on him upgrade soon. Those are pretty good. But as you can see, like I'm ton of money. Upgrade complete. One thing you can do as well. Here, I'll show you. No more minerals, I should have been keybinding all these to like complete. three or something. Or um, three. 
three, three, and then just like that would have made it way easier to switch to tier two whenever I wanted to. And like I can just F2 mid whenever I want. That would be pretty strong. I'm gonna get tons of upgrades while I'm doing it too. Let's get that even stronger. Oh, I should have. I F2'd uh -oh. Units and out made autocast on my things. Okay. I'm just getting a ton of upgrades while I'm doing this too. Okay. I autocast on my bounces. That's important. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Mm. If he wants, then I won't. This will be my last attack. Fine request. Um, now that I'm floating ton, now that I'm floating ton, I can finally go. Uh, what is it called? Like another eco spot? Because this is really gas intensive, 15 gas. But now that I'm at the point where it's not no gas intensive, minerals, which makes you um, not enough energy. energy. At least. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Yeah. Just getting a little bit of everything. Not a lot of classes can just like do what MW is doing right now. And by not a lot of classes, I mean never know their class. Except for maybe. I don't know. Basically, uh -oh. just get a lot of everything. Not too hard. Two eco spots makes my game my life a lot easier. Not enough energy. Upgrade your warriors have engaged the enemy. I get like everything. All the upgrades. Just be based on the right side of the map. That'll be my home. Out of minerals, but your workers are on. I don't really need the starting shields because I have so much energy regeneration. But whatever. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. One thing about the cloak is that it does actually make you generate less energy. So like, Upgrade I could have had the same eco at 16 minutes somehow if like if I didn't need Upgrade to. Uh, complete. You know. I don't know. 
Like if I didn't need to cook. But then no, Asa would probably no get can do. So, those are cons. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Let's see. I'm just gonna drain energy. So, uh, if you saw my son's video, you can see the power of just like having patrols like this around the edge of creep, kill lanes and stuff. And I'm sending some dominatrix to do it. And then I deselect some. Completely spread out my army to be full cancer. And I'm kind of trying to pay attention to main map. Mostly, mostly on my eco and my hero. With my hero being a priority, of course. Done. Just have upgrades. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. And yeah, so I can always upgrade them when they're full energy. I can salvage into like a hero or whatever. Probably they're accumulating energy, so I'd probably convert them into tier three. So what I do is I hit D and then I just do power chakra. I'm trying to select as many as possible just to save myself some time. Base is under attack. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. How much do I need to energize again? Let's see, two hundred thousand. Okay. Uh oh, units out of energy. And I can F2. Well, I'm gonna activate the bounces and just Not enough hold down energy. B to upgrade uh -oh. whatever units out of energy. energy. Unit needs a nap because he has no more energy. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, units out of energy. I'll combine Not these enough. Items. You're maxed. What a macro legend. Your warriors have engaged. Uh oh, the units out of energy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Let me get rid of this army. Not the annoying thing about having energy. nominatrix in uh -oh. this stuff too is that Unit needs a nap because he has no it, uh, more energy. Uh -oh. it annoys Unit's the B key when I'm trying to not upgrade because there's two Bs, build and uh -oh. upgrade. You're maxed. What so a yeah, I'm going to have to my mouse. Energy. Yeah, I should probably salvage into my hero. Uh oh, Unit's out of energy. And then, yeah, so I can just energize. It doesn't auto attack, I'm pretty sure, so you have to like just attack into him. But yeah, hopefully that shows you the power of Energizer, how you can, uh, how you can easily set up a bunch of buildings without getting into the nitty gritty of like. There's other stuff you can do with like um hyperspace relay. 
no more minerals. You could have a hyperspace Makes relay as part of your eco, like instead of these two buildings, like have it right here. Or no, wait, maybe you need it like right here. I don't know. Um, and then that way you could like hyperspace relay it into like a generator to generate like a ton of tier three when you get to a base. Um, when you energize, there's stuff here, which allows you to use other abilities like your mass purification. And you can just build in this whole area. Um, another strong part of energizer that I didn't go into is that the shield generators are really good in the base. Um, and then like certain units are better, like teasers and dischargers are really good in the base. I don't really use the other one. You can probably get away without ever using probes or Beyblades. You can probably get away without using the AD3 either. Um, the charger is actually really good in a base. But this was a map control build. And then, so, so yeah. Voltage transformer, this can be used. So you saw this part here where there's like four, four battle stations. If I have it positioned in a way where the battle stations are more closer to each other, um, I could use the voltage transformer, this thing here, here, and it's basically like a chrono so that it saves energy on making units. That can be also very effective. Um, another thing you can, like Altar of Heroes is another thing you can do, but no more if you know how to use that, you don't need a guide. Front of here. Stargate, no I forget what that is, honestly. Oh, it's a uh, transfer of units long way. So, for example, if you're basing top right and someone's bomb left and they can't get to you for some reason, you can probably send your dominatrix. Dominatrix that are tier 2 or above can create generators and stuff. So you would get them to your base via the hyperspace relay. Like, you could literally just carry them to your base, teleport them into your base. It's pretty nice. And... Yeah, there's just a lot to cover with Energizer. Like... Pretty much every unit has abilities and stuff, so you need to look at the abilities on your own time, pretty much. Um, You're all out of minerals. No can do. The out switch, uh, you can get away from using it. Instead, one thing you can do, I can't create no right now. Do. But instead of something like this, you could just have generator, dispenser, and then have the dispenser go into the next generator. Which goes into a dispenser, which goes into the next generator, which goes into a dispenser, which goes into the next generator, which goes into a dispenser, which then makes your units. And you could have like just multiple stuff here, multiple, multiple, um, like a, whatever these call, multiple battle stations to create units there, and then also have like a voltage transfer me. You maxed your line there, of and then like credits. say you're attacking up here, you could have a shield generator so that you live longer and stuff like that honestly though if you're watching this guide you probably need the base with other people though and you could probably just get away with massing shockers and massing the other units i was talking about the little teasers and dischargers anyways see you guys in the next video hopefully this was helpful peace